Hi, I'm Eric Litchford. I'm the preservation specialist and project manager for Preservation Virginia. Though we're practicing social distancing, we're still checking in on all of our historic sites. Because of that, we can remotely feature some of the architectural resources. In this video, I'll be talking about the 18th century barn at Bacon's Castle. So this is part one architectural tour of the 18th century barn at Bacon's Castle. Just for perspective, there's Bacon's Castle proper, so we're behind the main building. It's actually only the center and left bays that are the original 18th century portions of the building. To the right is a 19th century shed addition that was added on later, and that's actually where we're going to check out. When they installed the shed addition, they put it directly over the 18th century center core of the building. Doing that, they uh, preserved and protected quite a few exterior features that probably wouldn't have survived otherwise. So this is all original beaded siding. It's pine. It's been uh, attached with hand-forged nails. Um, and up above that, you can see that when they put the shed addition on, they installed the rafters just directly onto the roof line of the original structure. And in doing so, they preserved a few courses of shingles. Um, these are probably cypress, which have been a typical roofing material in this region. They're all attached with hand forged nails. Um, you can see they've uh, got some, some weather wear on them. So they're probably exposed for a while before the um, shed addition protected them. And below that we have a beaded cornice um, and once again those are all attached with hand forged nails. We're going to check out the, the center bay this time which is part of the original 18th century core of the building. So this building is timber framed and uh, most of the framing you see is original. And what I mean by, by timber framed is that most of the joinery isn't fastened together with uh, the use of nails. Generally, these uh, larger framing members are uh, attached together by sort of uh, actually cutting and carving the ends of the pieces to make them fit together. So a good area you can see it is where this where these sills connect together. So like right here, you can see this piece is actually inserted into that piece. And then on the top, a wood peg is uh, pushed through to help secure it all. Um, and then right here, what, what those gouges are is actually where the floor joists, when they still existed, um, originally laid, they would have lapped into those, those pockets and run across the building. So all the, the framing in here is actually a mix of oak, pine, and poplar, so we got a good spread. We're going to go into the left bay this time. Uh, this is still part of the original 18th century core. Uh, the framing is the same as the center portion, um, but we actually have some surviving floor joists on this side. We also have this really interesting partition where they uh, they put siding boards up to really create a division between the two spaces. Uh, these are all original boards fastened with hand forged nails. Um, and they have, you can see this, tally marks scratched into almost all of them. There we go, that's a good angle on them. Um, these boards are, they're pretty interesting. They were left pretty rough uh, from the saw marks, but they still planed on this bead on all the boards. 